Some people, when they hear biological immortality, think it means living forever like a god without any chance of death. That's actually not what biological immortality is. Biological immortality is the absence of a sustained increase in the rate of mortality based on chronological age. Or to put it another way, biological immortality is the absence of aging. It is the absence or cessation of senescence. It is important to understand that biologically immortal organisms are still vulnerable to death. They can still die of extreme physical trauma, disease, or suicide. They just don't die through senescence. Interestingly, there are actually organisms on Earth that are considered to be biologically immortal. These include the hydra, which are thought to not experience the aging process, but this is disputed. Turritopsis nutricula, a type of jellyfish, is also biologically immortal because it utilizes the process of transdifferentiation, which essentially allows it to have an indefinite lifespan. Colonized bacteria are also biologically immortal based on the notion of indefinite lifespan and cessation of senescence due to cell partitioning. The bristol cone pine is also considered to be biologically immortal because they have no apparent old age. In other words, they have a cessation of senescence, which allows them to achieve indefinite lifespans. With that said, the question becomes, why should humanity seek biological immortality? The first reason is obvious. We are currently the only species of advanced intelligence in the entire universe that we know of, and thus, we have a manifest destiny and obligation to spread our species outside the confines of a single basket like Earth. We have an obligation to spread our species across the Milky Way galaxy and beyond so that advanced intelligence at the level of humans doesn't die out when the sun dies out or when the Earth becomes inhabitable. An indefinite lifespan such as that allowed by biological immortality it's crucial to have because of the incredibly long distances and time frames entailed in interstellar travel. The second reason humanity should achieve biological immortality is that it would remove one of our greatest fears, which is the fear of death. Even though biologically immortal organisms can still die, death is no longer inevitable since biologically immortal organisms can live indefinitely. So humans would no longer need to fear death since it's not inevitable that they would face it if we achieve biological immortality. And with the fear of death gone, that would take away one of the biggest reasons for believing in God, which turns more people away from mysticism and occultism and towards reason and science. That would eliminate more fear, superstition, and time wasted or used on religious obligations and religious rituals. And the most important reason for humans to achieve biological immortality is to spare us from the humiliation, misery, disability, obsolescence, physical suffering, and cosmetic deterioration of growing old.